gonna talk about these three skills over and over again today. And I need you to repeat them after me. The first skill we talking about is reading. Reading. Second is writing. Writing. Third is speaking. Speaking. First one is reading. Second is writing. Third is speaking. Those three skills, we gonna show y'all how to get better at and get really, really proficient. Uh, eventually, you know, sports ends for us all. And that's one of the messages we always love to share with the kids because you know, the transition, using your physical body, all those things is gonna end for us. Grew up with the son of a teacher, always had ideas with Preston uh, way, way back in 2010 when we were, when I was still kind of playing in the NFL and came up with some different ideas for books and got the idea to try to be an author and, and put those things together. And we're like, well, this might be something we can do, but our first books that we wrote were, were terrible as all things are. Uh, kind of like the first time I ever played football, it was terrible. But just like with anything, it got better and better. And I think through all of that, it, uh, it kind of helps us with the message with the kids about, you know, not being good at something, going through the process and having that growth mindset to, to try to achieve anything. If I want to get better at reading, what should I do? Read! Read. Duh! If I want to get better at writing, what should I do? Duh. I just never had that in my mind that I only had to play, play sports. You know, my, I always just thank my mother. She always said, you're going to grow up, you're not going to be no dumb job. And uh, that's just something that always just resonated with me and I, you know, just felt like we can do whatever we put our minds to. what everyone said? I smell victory, said the coon hound. Man, we'll see about that, said the collie as she walked by. Look at me, I'm beautiful, I'm smart, I'm loyal. And Cocky started thinking to himself, man, they all got great traits, man. I don't even know how I can compare to them. I'm just a chicken. <laughs> Cocky Tim toe to the pond, where he saw the elephant and the alligator resting. He eased over to the water's edge, making sure not to scare anyone. <laughs> Wake up, today is the big day. Are y'all ready? Yeah. It's amazing. It's, it's, you know, it's just making a connection with students. I, I, I'm really fortunate because I've taught students for a long time. And I, it, it's really one of the most rewarding things as a teacher is you get to see sort of that aha moment. What I liked about the program this morning was they taught children at Windsor Elementary to learn how to read more, like keep, keep our heads up and that you can always read when you want to read and you can do anything you want to do. It was interesting and it was, they taught us more facts in life that we'll learn for the rest of our lives. Everybody might be a little bit better reader than somebody. Somebody might be a little bit better writer than somebody. Some of y'all can talk really, really good. The whole point is one skill feeds the other. Absolutely. And the skill of reading is the ultimate skill to get you really, really pumped. I think it'll help other students who want to read more because they think, some students think that they can't read and they're bad at reading. Just like the chicken. He felt like he felt like he can't win the contest just because he didn't believe in himself. But he had actually won because his friends and family believed in him, so he believed in himself too. It's very important, especially for the older kids, um, because that's when reading gets hard for them, um, and it loses its um, fun and adventure. So I feel that uh, the two gentlemen, they motivated them, um, made reading seem fun. Um, I also feel that they gave them life skills, that it's not all about being um, an athlete, to have the life that they want to have. You got a whole bunch of skills, specifically the ability to read well, write well, and speak well. And you can go out to the world and not be boring. Repeat this after me, if you're boring, if you're boring, you broke. You broke. But we want to be able to use our vocabulary to spice up our language a little bit. We use our words to make things sound appealing to other people's ears, so they want to be able to listen to the things that we have to say. Teachers love it. Uh, they love to see different examples of folks who are authors and different things and you know I, I know for sure uh, the kids don't get enough examples of well-read men and different spectrums of folks who think reading is cool so uh, our kind of motto is that it's not like the schools don't do a, a phenomenal job of imparting a lot of these wisdoms we try to try to come in and serve as the muscle behind the message and give a tangible example to the kids to say oh he kind of looks like me or he wears the same shoes as I do and he likes to read well or he likes to write and that's one of the big things we want to uh, kind of hammer home and that shows the teachers that they can say, uh-huh, I kind of told you, so I know what I'm talking about. What's wrong, cocky ass, all his brothers in the coop? Why don't you get ready for the contest, bro? Today is the big day. Man, what's the point, man? I'm just a chicken. <laughs> we really strive um, to show our kids um, themselves in books and then also seeing themselves um, 
through the people who are the authors of the books. And I think that's so important um, for our kids to see is that I'm not limited by any circumstance that I come from. I always have my, my three skills, my reading, my writing, and my speaking. Um, if, I, if I really work hard at those things, then the sky's the limit. One, two, three. They can be more than just anything. Um, they're not limited by, they're only limited by what they can kind of put the, on themselves. And our whole deal is that there are no limits. Um, and they understand this when it comes to sports. Um, they don't worry about size, they don't worry about geography. But we want them to take the same kind of lesson away from when it comes to reading, writing, and speaking, or being a creator, or doing whatever it is they want to do in life. It doesn't matter where you're from or where you're at right now. This is a great day to start working on these things and getting better. And from there, it kind of opens up the possibilities that I can do this or I can do that. Being inquisitive, uh, those are the things we really, I know for me, that we really want to hammer home with the kids. If they read well and they write well and they speak well, that they can increase their options of what they can do in their life. And uh, once they get a grip of that, then, you know, the possibility is almost endless. Three, two, one.